Okay, so we're gonna have a look at the chest roll now. Um, I find this one quite tricky. I'm still working on my technique with this one, but um, I'm gonna demo it and I'm gonna talk through how we do it. So, um, chest roll, okay, you're gonna start again, strongest arm, always start with the strongest arm, um, just because um, it's obviously gonna be easier. Once you grasp it in the strongest arm, you can then move on to maybe trying it on the opposite. So with the chest roll, it requires you having to sort of open your chest right out, arms right out, full length, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the hoop across the chest and catch it in the other hand. So it's gonna look a little bit like this. <laughs> gonna try it, okay? So you're gonna drop it on the chest and you're gonna catch it in the other hand. Um, so it's best to break this one down in slow motion first of all. So it's quite daunting because you're kind of dropping that hoop on the chest. Um, I recommend a lightweight hoop for this one. Never do it with a heavy weight um, because it could hit you in the face and also it will hurt the chest. So nice lightweight hoop uh, does not impact the chest at all. So for the chest roll, in slow motion, okay, you're going to hold it with the palm up, facing up. And to begin with, you're not going to let go. You're just going to guide it, okay? So guide it on the chest and then bring it into that other hand. Yeah, so you can start again and you can just try holding it and guiding it along the arm onto the chest and then catch. So you can just start like this to, until you're confident to sort of let it go onto the chest just so you get the feeling of that hoop and, and where it's sitting. So again, make sure your head's out of the way. Okay, a little bit of a guessing game sometimes when you first start this. So you're gonna try and get a bit of momentum going with the roll. And then when you're ready, you're gonna bounce it onto the chest. So you're gonna roll it along the first part of the arm and then bounce it and catch with the other hand. It takes a lot of practice, okay? I would recommend that you probably need to give this at least 10 attempts um, and don't give up on it.